Welcome back to another episode of the Burning Ship Podcast, where a group of friends gather to talk the latest in nerd culture. I'm Frankie. My name's Jason. Here's Ivan. And I'm Lewis. And today, and this week, we will be talking about Pokemon Sword and Shield, the trailer for Scoob, the Sonic redesign, and the trailer for the Spongebob movie, Sponge on the Run. But before we start, don't forget to subscribe or follow us wherever podcasts can be found. So, Louis, uh, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Thank you, I'm glad to finally be of an official member. He went I'm from a... fan to temporary member to official member, it's crazy. To bot maker? I mean, I mean, I wait mean, a minute. What? 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 There's n- I mean, none of our subscribers are bots. Of course not. No. Of That'd be ridiculous. Not. Exactly. Yeah. Alright, hold on, let me just, uh, just take those off right now. But oh, how, yeah, how does you. it feel getting to introduce yourself? For the first time. Uh, you know, I feel very independent now. I feel strong. I feel like I can finally move out. I I, I really appreciate this moment, mom and dad. And I want to thank the academy here. I'm uh, just I don't know. I want to know who's mom and who's dad. Oh, that's Ivan is mom, and Ivan is also dad. <laughs> what? Oh, uh, okay, I can see like, that. Okay, yeah, probably the most responsible. Very sexual, and it's amazing. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> uh, but we've been gone for what three weeks now? Four weeks? Almost. I four believe weeks? so. Yeah. So a lot of shits happened. Like mm-hmm. a lot of stuff. Yes. For a quick brief, I was over there for uh, two weeks, uh, where uh, all of these the rest of the guys live. I went to In go, Antarctica. And yeah, we went to Antarctica, and then we went to a an anime convention in Antarctica. Yeah, that was crazy. We Are we just gonna keep there. going with this Antarctica thing still? I Maybe. mean, yeah, why not? It's the same reason we're sponsored by A List. We're Shut not up. sponsored by A List. We sponsor them. Yeah. What do you say? Exactly. You, you and gotta that's get shit uh, right. what I approve. I approve on that. Which one? That we're sponsoring A List? Yeah. So That's are we fair. supposed to be cursing more? Oh, <laughs> oh not yet. Uh, the cursing know, comes after the banter. So then we, you know, During. we make sure that we Wait separate ourselves. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> but no, yeah, what's it called? We went to the anime convention. Um, it was pretty good. First time I've ever been to an anime convention myself. So that was an experience I enjoyed. Like, um, you guys actually, um, uh, pretty, pretty good introduction for it, honestly. Kind of disappointing some people didn't go to the to the little rave at the end, but it's fine. Oh yeah, somebody abandoned us. Mm-hmm. I wonder who that could be. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder Crazy. who those three individuals were. Well, apparently right. two of them were Sados to Helen back, so... <laughs> yes, we were. Uh, um, I'm not denying it. I'm not denying it, man. I was and apparently, saddle. And apparently this one idiot, Louis, was hitting everybody in the crowd, so I guess oh, it yeah. wasn't fun for people. Louis Yo, was what battery ramming everybody in the rave. It was it so was insane. You, you've <sighs> actually had a couple of really uh, crazy weeks. So you, you rammed... <laughs> people. People, and you, you rammed your car. Oh, yeah. I, mean, yeah. I saw that, man. What oh, it was uh, it was bad. I saw that picture. Yeah, so uh, about, I guess, a, not even a week ago, it's probably less than that. During on Friday night, I was out and shopping for a computer part for my PC because apparently I uh, I completely fried my power supply. So I went to not the previous place, but uh, somewhere else and got a new piece and I was just driving back home, and I assumed when I was turning left, I had the opportunity to go. But it's one of those where you have to yield on a green light if you're turning left. Mm-hmm. And the car was coming. It was nighttime. And I assumed that I had enough space to turn. And as soon as I was turning, I realized, nope, I had no room anymore. And it was already too late to stop where I was going and accelerating. And it was a head-on collision, and it was a complete total loss on both ends. I did end up getting a ticket for it, and it was uh, deemed my fault for the accident, so it sucks. Man, luckily, I have full coverage on the on insurance, and they were able to help out with that. But at the very end of the day, I mean, it sucks. I lost one of my best uh, cars that I liked. It was my child since pretty much graduation. Yeah. So, that's, so, so that's it has a story loss. behind it. But I will yeah. say, his new car ain't too shabby. Yeah. Got um a 2014 Corolla, 
And basically, we had that for a while already. And I just bought it off my parents. I told them, hey, keep the insurance check. Here's uh, some of the money for uh, to pretty much pay the difference for what they paid for for them when they got it. And well, I mean, to help them out as well, because they want to get a new car. Mm -hmm. So just gave them that. And my dad was like, no, nope, I don't want the full amount you paying. Like if it was like a car note. I want four hundred dollars a month, and I was like, ah, <laughs> and I'm like, okay, that's fair. Four hundred dollars a month ain't that bad. I know that's uh, not like uh, other people's um, car rental uh, car um, notes. Um, what's yeah. your car note like? Uh, my car note right now is four sixty three. Okay, see, it's not that bad. I'm saving sixty three bucks. You see, my dad is planning on buying a new car like next week. For my sister, and we're gonna be Just, trading in my my caddy to to basically help out, and then all of us are gonna basically chip in to to help uh fully pay it off quicker. Wait mm -hmm. a minute! Wait, wait, wait! So you're selling your car, and then some to get your sister a car? Yeah, and then after that, they're gonna do the same thing to me with me. Everyone in the family is gonna chip in to uh basically purchase. The car I want, and then everyone helps out to, to pay them monthly and even more, so then we could quickly pay it off. Well, it's an endless cycle. So, they just keep selling the cars just to get a new one. <laughs> unlike us, we need to start doing that, though. Oh, by the way, Ivan, I just saw it recently your new car. I'm actually impressed. Oh, it's nice. Oh. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> did they tell you the thing that happened to it? We haven't told him the story yet. Wait, that, uh, what happened to it? Uh, do so, you really want to bring that up for our number one fan? <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I don't blame him. So, <laughs> I don't blame oh, him. My dad go. does. So, uh, the story is, initially, how we got that car is that we, we got it for free. Because, Wait, uh -huh. so, uh, my dad got it off uh, people he uh, does houses for, uh, because yeah. a tree fell on it. <laughs> what? So, okay, backstory before that. It, the, <laughs> the car was sitting in the driveway for, like, 10 years, and they hadn't moved... Uh, well, not 10 years, but, like, a, a, a good while. Yeah. And uh, they weren't using it at all. And before the tree fell, my dad asked, hey, can I have it? And they were thinking about it. Well, eventually, the tree fell on it. <laughs> and they were like, yeah, just tow it off for our, our driveway, and you can have it for free. So that's how we acquired it. So I ended up putting my money into it. My dad put his money into it, and we fixed it up. Nice. And it looked really nice. They just needed some um, some interior cleaning and cosmetic stuff done to it. So they mm -hmm. went to go do that. At Bring don't it over know to exactly my dealership. Where. I got you. Off the top of my head, but they. It's went. a. It's a really. It's like it's not a actual company or anything, but it was these guys who do it in like this gas station. It's it's kind of shady as shit, to be <laughs> honest. Uh huh. But they do really nice <clears throat> detail work. So, I can um, top it with my detail guys. I bet you can, but this was <laughs> this was like only fifty bucks. So okay, what's it called? Um, like our detail is priced at two forty nine. Yeah, fuck that. But because it's all pure labor, I can get that for half the price off. So yeah, still screw that. <laughs> One twenty five for you guys. Oh, thank you. Oh uh, yeah, I that's got you. That's honestly that's big. To be fair, I'm I'm actually thinking about spending two hundred on tinting. Get, no, I don't care about tinting to get a spare <gasps> key. Oh, that's uh, oh, yeah. what, what kind of key? Why two hundred? I would say apparently that that's that's what they quoted my dad for, like one hundred okay. or so for the for the key. I'm, I'm not saying fair. that off the top it's, of my ass. It's that's definitely fair. worth it though, because I've had situations where like I've accidentally locked my key in my car. Well, I'm just in the point where I just get a. Uh, annoyed when they asked for it <laughs> so okay. i was like i'll just make a spare um but yeah so back to so my cousin ends up driving it over there and well no my dad <clears throat> drove it over there okay you can explain apparently they told you because my dad got really mad and explained it to you all right so my dad <laughs> drove it over there to get the, the detail work done right oh okay the new car the new car yeah yeah the new the new car okay. uh Mm, then at the end of their work day, they went to go pick it back up, and my cousin works with my dad. Uh huh. So my cousin gets in the new car, and uh, they're gonna drive it home, perfectly fine. 
Well, the way you get out of that place is like on a like semi highway. Mm hmm. And um, it's like a very narrow lane. And on one side, it's like a giant retaining wall. Uh huh. And on the other side is uh, what's it called? Sidewalk, but it's like super raised. Uh huh. And the since the space is so small, only one car can go in or out at one time through that. And a car was trying to come in, and that freaked my cousin out. And oh. so he tried to turn the car around, but when he did that, he scraped the bumper all along the retaining wall so bad that uh, the bumper almost fell off entirely, and it looked terrible. Oh my god. So I'm so sorry. After we paid all the money for all the repairs and everything, we had to go take it back to get a new bumper to get that fixed. Oh and my dad my was furious. And then, like, he came Did home. Did your cousin pay? No. Oh, my God. Uh, he, uh, my dad came home, and he's like, Jason, I need you to come with me to get this fucking car. I don't trust anybody else. I need you to go. <laughs> and I was like, I was just starting my nap after work. Uh-huh. And I was so mad that he had to wake me up. I was like, I've been down the hall. He's like, no, I don't want anybody else. You're coming with me. I was like, fuck. After and he what just happened, actually, I can understand. Yeah. Well, he actually didn't let me drive the car uh -huh. back either. Because we took my car there. Oh. Uh. And he's like, I just needed you to drop me off. You can go back, and I'll take this car back. I was like, okay. But yeah. Bye, Dad. Bye, Dad. <laughs> but uh, yeah, when he got back, he was still fuming. Yeah. I mean, I can understand. It, looks, just it looks good now, by the way. Oh, yeah, it out. looks great. It's, it's real nice. It drives really well. Yes, it does. Good. It accelerates well. I'm mm -hmm. jealous. The funny thing is, is that my, that's my first car I've ever had with uh, heated seats. It's <laughs> so weird, but it feels so good. I know. Uh, it, it's weird when you accidentally, like, turn it on, and then your, like, seat starts warming up. It's like... How do you accidentally turn it on? That must be nice. These past mornings, my ass has been freezing. Does your car not have heated? No. <laughs> my, I mean, my car is from 1999. It has heated. Yeah, it must be nice having luxury car models. Yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, yeah, the the Cadillac is is a luxury car. Yeah, I know. Didn't you get a sports model? No, kind of. You got the you got the base model. Your right? previous yeah, one I got was base. sports, wasn't it? No. Wow, interesting. Uh, it has a sports mode on it, but it technically wasn't a sports car. <laughs> <laughs> But, yeah. but do you prefer your new car over your old one? Oh yeah, hundred percent. The camera for the backup camera, it's so much nicer. It's so easy and like it's so useful. Backup cameras. It really is. Yeah, I miss my backup camera now. I bet you do. I am so 100%. sorry. Yeah, I mean it's no worries. Wait, so don't you? Well, uh, I don't I'm know. gonna I'm gonna customize it like I always do with all my cars. I'm gonna get a new stereo again, get new speakers. I might my... have to replace the speakers in mine. Put the new, put my amplifier. I went to I go back to the junkyard where my car was at. Uh huh. And uh, got the amplifier out and and the stereo. But the stereo I'm gonna give to my sister because she wants it, and I won't have money until a while to get a new uh, stereo. Question at at your uh, work, would I be able to replace my uh, speakers? Uh yeah, I can get you uh, with the accessory guy, and he can probably hook you up. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. All right, we'll talk later then. Gotcha, gotcha. Because I talked to him and he said, yeah, I'm going to get you uh, some prices. Cool. Mm -hmm. Nice. Uh, All anything right. else happened with you guys? I know, Louis, you got a tattoo. Yeah. yeah. It was that, nice. That, it huh? looks really nice. Dude, it look, the, from the pictures, it looks real cool. Yeah. S seeing it, it in really person. So this episode is going to just be more of a recap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a recap of what happened these past three weeks, because I mean, honestly, I a lot to happen. <clears throat> Jason already has an, uh, the, new, uh, the new ideas of what I'm going to be getting next. Yes, and, and it's actually pretty badass. Yeah. I so, still kind of want my hands to be done. I'm not going to lie. Um, are you doing, talking about palms or the top of your hands? The, the top of my stuff. hands. Okay. Not the knuckles. Well, near the knuckles. Are these the knuckles? I think the fingers. Fingers. it's in between. It's the in knuckle. the space between yeah. knuckles, yeah. And what are you trying to get? Just, just like letters and symbols and numbers. Okay, nothing. Because if crazy. it's like, 
if it's like a big design, just think of look down at your hand and be like, okay, that's a big design and that's gonna fit all right there. But if it's something small and decent, that's perfectly fine. Oh yeah, no. If I want something intricate, I'm gonna use my entire uh, arm length for that. Okay. And build on top of it. Okay. I already have ideas, Luisio. Nice, very, very nice. Uh, I'm just gonna get the sun chips emote on my forehead. I, oh, <laughs> I got ideas for mine as well. I'm. I want to get on my left forearm. The sun chips mm-hmm. emote. Uh, but I, I've got designs. I I wanted to get it probably like for Christmas, but mm-hmm. I I might have to like wait a little. Mm-hmm. And so, uh, talk to my, the tattoo artist. So. I just sent uh sent out an image for you guys. Um, but basically, I'm gonna do a um do this next one on my calf, and um, it's basically gonna be symbols of all the bands that I really like from like you know, from when I first started to what's my favorite right now, and it's gonna be the main part is gonna be the census fail skull. On the eyes will be Lincoln Park on the left side, and Rise Against the logo on the right hand side, and the Bring Me the Horizon logo right in the middle forehead. That's actually I think that's really pretty creative. cool. Yeah. yeah. And what's it called? I know the the girl that did my first set, the first set too. Can you get this done too? Nice. So that's good. Gonna gonna do that and then uh, hopefully hopefully get it for free actually because she's do they're doing a raffle at the tattoo parlor place. Mm-hmm. Um, it's like a ten dollar entry per ticket. Uh, so you can like literally buy like. Hundred tick, uh, hundred tickets. If you want to spend like that much money, but at that point, it's like might as well just get the tattoo. Might as well just bought the tattoo, yeah. Yeah. Um, but basically, you just pay ten bucks to enter this contest, and um, like on Thanksgiving, they're gonna announce the winner. That's actually pretty cool. Yeah, so I'm gonna probably drop by like on Friday to to to, to uh put my entry. Best of luck, my dude. Hmm. Hopefully, you luck is on your side. We'll see. If not, I mean, I can wait for a while. Yeah. Ooh. I know uh, I'm trying to get mine by the end of January. That's probably uh, when, when I'll be aiming to get mine as well. If if I do get mine, I'm stuck between the uh, the Ouroboros, but it's a, it's a fox design that I really like. Oh, that's actually... That sounds cool. Yeah. At least so, it's if I, what I'm imagining. I might do something like that, but in traditional, like, Japanese, like, art style, mm-hmm. on an artist who does it, uh, and I like it, I just don't know if, like, s- considering my skin tone, if it, like, colors would pop like that, or if mm-hmm. I would have to get them super bright and stuff. Can you send me a picture, because I really don't have any clue what you're talking about? <laughs> yeah, I'll send it to you later. Okay, okay. Thank you. I don't know, what I'm planning on getting is, uh, a quote that I, I really like, which is, uh, life's too short, so I'll make the most of it. Mm-hmm. And then in the middle of it, I want uh, there to be a uh, pocket watch. And on Make the, po- the O in short, a pocket watch. Uh, that might actually work. I don't know. I was thinking of like having it like in the center of of the design, and then have the the quotes like on next to it. Sorts. Well, you know how, or in- you can do it around <clears throat> it. Yeah, that's you know how I- Full Metal Alchemist yeah. has the engraving on the top of the pocket watch. Yeah. Yeah. Why not like that? So you could have it around the quote, like engraved in the pocket watch. You make the pocket watch like the centerpiece. That'd be cool. Yeah, I have to That'd... get somebody who does uh, jewelry and metal very well, though. No, no I... he has to do a realistic uh, designer. Yeah, that's what I mean. The, the, like, the guy I know, he, he does realistic. I showed uh, Lewis a couple of pictures of, of the tattoos he's done. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, and so on the, the pocket watch itself, I want it to be the day uh basically the date and time i was born and then on the hands will be the names of my uh mom and dad gotcha Mm -hmm. i'm gonna send you an artist that uh that you might uh be interested in um he does um uh realistic tattoos Mm -hmm. and like they come out really super good i think that you would be uh a good uh candidate for what you're trying to do interesting but at the same mm-hmm. time, it's like I'm 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 not planning on flying over somewhere to. Oh yes, get you a are. Tattoo then. I mean, it's just here in Georgia. You can just come here and do it. Exactly. Yeah. That still requires me to fly over there. Which yeah, is like, just do it whenever you're gonna come and just be like, hey, I want to set an appointment for this day. Blah blah blah. Make the appointment. Uh, submit your uh, 
your uh the down payment or yeah technically down payment and uh and see if he if he makes a good design or not. And if he doesn't, just know that you just pay for that. You know, it, that's not, I'll think about it. No, regardless, that's what you're gonna be doing with any tattoo artist. No, yeah, I know that. You but always like, deposit. That's the word. No, yeah. the back alley the ones. They already have the needle going. <laughs> yep. But anyway, Look, I just we, freehand it. Should we get into our uh, first topic? Should we? <laughs> should we? Are we allowed? Uh, I mean, I would say we're allowed to. I mean, that's I up to you. Hey, aren't you running this? I mean, it's a group effort. But, but yeah, you know, let's, uh... That's not what the contract says. Wait, you signed the contract? The hell? I gave mean? it to him. Where the yeah. hell did you get a contract? That's what I the mean, business contract became it to me. a CEO. Yeah. It came with my desk. It came to your desk? Yeah. Uh, I look at it, the Arctic shelves every day. He He has to put it outside his room because he can't fit. <laughs> Don't let him know how small my desk. <laughs> uh, but, but anyway, yeah, sign the contract. Uh, yeah. Pokemon Sword and Shield just came out like last week, last Friday. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, last Friday. Yep, almost less than a week. Less than a week ago. Yeah, yeah, actually. Uh, but there's a bunch of like controversial like news and stuff that like. Leading up to the Leading release. up to it. Which, I don't know, I think it just gave it, like, a bad rep. And then, actually playing it, you know, it's not that bad. I will say that people are overreacting a little bit. Uh, I understand the uh, frustration of having only 400 Pokemon in the Pokedex. Uh, I would like all my uh, boys from Johto to come in. Uh, but apparently they're not doing that. At least yet. Mm-hmm. Uh... It's my only DLC. real yeah, that's my only concern. I don't want them to do DLC like that. Unless it's free, I don't want them to do that. Mm-hmm. But apparently, some modders were able to actually put in the models of Gen One and Gen Two Pokemon into the game with no issue. Oh yeah, they got the Gen One models from uh, Let's Go. Yeah. So it was uh, apparently people are like, well, if these fuckers who are hacking into the system could do it. Why couldn't the company? Well, you know <laughs> it. It might be that just this game they did like that, just so then they could test the water since it's the first Switch. Well, here is uh, the argument game. people have been bringing up, mm-hmm. is if they knew this was going to be the first Switch game, why not delay the yearly releases to make sure that your product comes out well? Mm-hmm. You know? Okay. Give yeah, it more I, time, I give more that. development time so you can include everything that you want to include and not exclude what people were hoping for. Mm-hmm. Uh, because they have been doing yearly releases since what? Leaf Green? Fire Red? Yeah. Even before that? Or was that the start of the yearly releases? I want to say that that was the start of the yearly releases. Because then after that it was uh, it was uh, Ruby and Sapphire. And then after that was Diamond and Pearl. Well, after that was Emerald. Oh, wait. Yeah, then Emerald, Diamond and Pearl. Then Diamond and Pearl. Yeah. Okay. I mean... The the recent like let's go, I would say it's just the the game to like they had just to like hold us back a little. Like hey I'll hold you over. Yeah. So well, it's I like mean, they had quote unquote that that extra year. They well I mean they it. used the models from that game in this game as well. Mm-hmm. So that brings up a question as to if they were gonna do that anyways, why didn't they just not release Let's Go and have you know a good just everything sword and shield yeah oh my bad Ugh. i'm so in the previous chance it's okay <laughs> but um yeah i mean like they 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 could have taken their time with it it's it's one of those things where i would appreciate a pokemon game even if it took three years to come out mm-hmm. uh because i know they put their time into it uh i don't want them to follow the call of duty route where they have yearly releases i know call of duty has different studios that work on each game but it still comes out as typically the same game every year. And I mm-hmm. don't want that for Pokemon. Basically, same formula. Yeah, you know, I mean, Pokemon has always <laughs> been the formula like, oh, catching, beating gyms, de- defeating the Elite Four, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, I think with, like, Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, they brought in quite a few things that changed the game enough for me to feel it feels fresh, even though it's a reboot of Ruby and Sapphire. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
Well, here's the crazy thing about that, right? Is that um, even if they probably wanted to, even probably they really wanted to delay it, there is no re- uh, reasonable way for them to do that because uh, Animal Crossing already delayed them themselves, and mm-hmm. that caused a really big uh, decrease in their investors. You see what I mean? Mm, so I'll had be, yeah. Pokemon also delayed, this fiscal year would have been very abysmal for them. Yeah, in terms yeah. of like a corporation. Now, obviously, you don't want to be hearing that as a consumer because obviously that means Nintendo is just pandering to their investors, which sucks. But you guys uh, did hear like their uh, when it came to like uh, announcing how, like how big the team was and everything like that, and everybody went crazy about like um, oh, do you have this stupid amount of people working um, on the project and you're not able to add all this and this and this and. Um, on that part, it's like, okay, you take that that number. I think, I don't remember exactly how many there was, but, like, I'm just going to give an example. Like, if it was, like, 300 people on the game, uh-huh. like, the production team that actually is focused on making the game was maybe about less than, maybe, maybe about uh, 80 people, maybe 80 people from there. Everybody else was, like, um, just either uh, doing um, marketing, a sales, um, as well as um, like just language translations and stuff like that, and not actually working on the actual game itself. So it's kind yeah. of hard to also uh, uh, pinpoint like, oh, if you can't put a mechanic here because of time frame, but it's also not just that, but the team and staff are working endlessly to try their best. So I mean, at the end of the day, um, the game came out is pretty, pretty okay in my opinion. From what I'm just looking at in terms of reviews. I haven't played it at all. But from when you guys experience, I mean, I guess it's working out pretty fine. I'm well, still okay. Fucking hunting. Bringing, yeah, bringing that up. Frankie uh-huh. is still on Route 1. I'm still uh-huh. I'm still fucking hunting for that shiny rookity. Okay, so uh, I'm hearing from you guys, you guys are making a rule that you can't move on until you catch the shiny. Just one. Well, only Route 1, and that's only for uh-huh. them. I'm doing a shiny per route. Uh-huh. No, 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 no. I went back to Route 1 because I want this shiny Wooloo, which is mm-hmm. a sheep. Oh, did you hear? Jay Witz finally got his. Did he, Was it today? It was 3,500 sheep he killed together. Jesus Christ. <laughs> he massacred a bunch of uh, sheep for this one black Philip. Anyways. That's a lot of bits in Minecraft. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, But, yeah, I mean, right now, Frankie's the... One of the two last people in our group that needs to catch it. I wonder between uh, the uh, him and the other person if they're gonna get it. Right now, I'm just uh, running from the like all the 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 fights just to quickly go through it because supposedly if you run from uh, even like a random encounter or the per- the the Pokemon you're chaining. The chain doesn't reset. It only resets if a Pokemon faints, like if you attack it and it faints, or if it flees. So I'll be honest, I don't think there's enough research yet to confirm or deny that. I don't know. I I don't think we'll know for another couple of weeks. Two of the sources, uh, one of them is a YouTuber I watch. He was like, yeah, it doesn't affect it. And then I looked it up, and then there was another website. So I was like, I'm going to try it. Remember, we just... Saw a shiny, uh, a, a, a quote unquote. There's two different shiny forms that you can get. Yeah. In the game, one that has the traditional star effect, and one that has like diamond slash squares. You know, I'm not uh, gonna lie. Effect. I think that's fine. The way you worded it initially it was like, "There's another form of shinies that I wouldn't have well, been okay with." Because the way the article presented it, that's how it was. I did. I had to go dig into the comments to find a subreddit that explained exactly what was going on because of how they data mined it. No, yeah. yeah. From, from what you said, I thought it was like a different color variation. Well, that's what the article said. Mm-hmm. It was like, not a different color, but like a different particle effect. No, but no, no. the way you the worded it to wrong. us, we were just like. Oh, you guys thought it was a completely different shiny palette. Yeah, and that yeah. we I wouldn't have been okay with because I was like, wow, all this, sh-, and then it's not even like the rarest, you know? Well, I would like there to be something like that, to be honest, but no, that's just no. me as a shiny, shiny hunter. hunter dream. Uh, no. Yeah, uh, that is my ultimate dream of there being like a shiny, but then there's also like the shiny, and I'm like, oh. The shiny of shiny? Yeah. 
I'm so, I'm still mad that they shiny lock starters in this game, uh, especially oh, when so this can, one it was so easy to soft so reset. I'll be honest, uh, Jason, you should get a capture card and just stream your masochism. My my masochism. Yeah, I think it'd be fun to stream to tune. So you cannot uh, get a shiny starter no more. No. Uh, in this game, they blocked that. Wow. But you can breed it. Mm-hmm. You can breed it, but the starter that you choose cannot be shiny. That's stupid. Uh, the legendaries cannot be shiny. No, but that's been a staple since like Gen Five. And any uh in-game static Pokemon cannot be shiny except for fossil Pokemon. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Which sucks. Um, which really only leaves me one Pokemon that I can soft reset, and that's stupid. Hey. Uh, just wait for Pokemon Gun to come out. <laughs> uh. Anyways. Wait. Snoop Dogg edition. And then there was the whole issue where it's like, oh, if you like enable the autosave, like it it could potentially delete all your like uh game downloads. Mm. Uh that was actually blown out of proportion. No oh, yeah. It was it definitely was. Like literally when I started it, I just went to the setting and was like, okay, disable. Yeah, not, no, it- I mean not only that, the effects that they said what they that they claim was going on was false. What it did was just deleting their most recent save point, quote unquote. Uh, it would be the same thing as if like you turn off the game without saving. That's oh, what it okay. did. Oh, okay. Um, so I misunderstood. And, well, no, articles were were claiming that's what it did because one person had claimed that that's what was happening. Mm-hmm. But they looked into it, and that's not what was happening. It was just the most recent save data was gone. Okay, then uh, that at, at worst, what it would delete was pictures in your gallery but it wouldn't delete uh game data mm, okay that's not not too bad yeah but either way uh i don't think they've released a patch for it uh and if they have i haven't updated just keep your auto save off or yeah keep your no, auto yeah, save I, off i mean i'm used to like the traditional like you have to save it yourself in pokemon so it's yeah like, same here so, so it's like it, like just saving it manually is is no big deal for me yeah i agree Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, other than that, I don't think there was uh oh oh no, there was issues of two hundred moves getting deleted. Really? Uh, yeah, two hundred uh moves from the previous games got deleted. Um, what else? What else? I hate that Charizard is the only first or the only other starter that made it to the game. I mean, for they're, now, they're, yeah, for now, because uh, according to was it leaks? Uh, Bulbasaur is going to be a an event, an event Pokemon, yeah, possibly, yeah. So it's like I'm happy, it, like I could at least try to get my Bobo Boy. Apparently, uh, the legendaries will be event Pokemon as well, which is no surprise. That's what they've been doing in the past games. No, yeah, literally, it's like, oh hey, go to your local game store to get uh this card that gives you the code to get this shiny legendary. Other than that, there's been a lot of funny videos of people running away from Pokemon in the wild area, <laughs> and I have not stopped laughing at those. Uh, they're so terrifying. They are great. And when it goes to Eurobeat, it's so much better. Uh, I just want to catch the shiny already so then I could continue with the actual game. Oh, yeah. Good luck. I'm like, working on my second one while you're still working on your first. So, like, made the better man. I'm win. not going to throw in the towel no matter what. Like, I'm, I'm sticking to it because, you know. But after that first one, you're never doing it again. No, I'll probably hunt. Like I'll I'll shiny okay. hunt, but okay. I'll probably do it after I complete the game. I feel like you shouldn't uh, gotcha, shiny hunt gotcha. at all. Yeah, I wouldn't you recommend seeing it. it. Seeing as how you're failing with the first one, I mean, it's just because I'm not getting lucky. Exactly. This man well, made the claim to that day that I got mine that he was mm-hmm. gonna be the first one. <laughs> yeah, uh, just by saying that will make you be the last one. And, and you will never get a shiny ever again. Not That's only why, that, like, he also said it's going to take us at least a week to get it. And literally later that it's, night. It's probably was... going to take me a week. Yeah. That's okay. because you said it. Yeah. Let's see. It's uh, November 21st. Uh, you said a week. No, but yeah. So, I'm, uh, I'm go- that was I'm... a week from Friday. Yeah. From Friday. Oh, so it's almost uh, your uh, one more day. You have yeah, one more tomorrow. day and then you're going to get your shiny. Yeah, today and tomorrow. <laughs> but the, no, 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 no. He, if he doesn't get it, isn't it last until a month? That oh, would be sh- horrible. Hey, Lewis just cursed you. Yeah. Lewis, why would you wish that upon me? Because I want you to suffer. If it Lewis. lasted a month 
and then I get that shiny. I probably I would probably physically start crying. I was like, yes, I can <laughs> finally move on. Lewis. Yeah. You want to know who the other person in this race is? Ivan? No. Ivan got his already. Yeah. Who? It's Chris. Chris. He still doesn't have it? Uh, he hasn't told us anything. I mean, he okay. said he was going to throw in the, the towel, but then we were like, don't do it. And, and he's like, you're right. I won't. I'll I'll do this for you and you okay. and you. You see, I'm Chris is gonna get it today, and if he doesn't get it today, he's gonna get it tomorrow. Guaranteed. You better tell him to get it today, then. No, I'm just <laughs> saying it right now to you guys. He's gonna get it today or tomorrow. Okay. But Frankie, if he doesn't get it by to- by tomorrow, Friday, he's gonna have to wait a whole month to get it. You Guaranteed. cursed fucking Chris. Too. Guaranteed. You cursed uh, Chris. You you cursed. Why why would you do this to us? I get no to I, you. Just uh, just, just to make you just to make oh, you okay. I feel this like all if, the... if Chris, it took Chris a, a month, he would throw in the towel. And just uh, I feel like if I'm it took him more than a week, he would throw in the towel, yeah. Yep. But who knows? I honestly think he's already Frankie, moved this is on. All the whatever. times you hear me in, uh, in Rocket League. <laughs> this is for all the times. For all the times I accidentally bump into you? You told us it wasn't accidents. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, most of the time it was an accident. Most, most of the time. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. Most of the time. You know how many hours we put into that game already? Uh, no. I, and we're I'm still not gonna... diamond? <laughs> I mean, we, we took a, a good break. You probably could be. I was with Mr. Jeebus. Mr. Yeah. Very nice. But anyways, uh, on to the next topic? Sure. Yeah. Alright, cool. So, finally, we got the, Zon- the Sonic we deserve. <laughs> we don't deserve that one. Uh, Wait, you well, say we don't the deserve it? internet is such assholes. We made a company spend $30 million more just to redesign this character. <laughs> Five no, million. I see this as an absolute win. Yeah. And I'll explain why. Okay. This is the first time we have rioted so hard a company was able to listen. Yeah. And but, they made the change. But I'm sa- they sh- we should honor that and watch the film. And give it the credit it deserves. I will. I will do so. And because it's rare a company listens. Mm-hmm. The funny because thing is, is that, that there's a what, lot what, and a lot what, of people. Word, huh? Yes. Oh, I'm saying like if we if nobody if this movie doesn't do good and not that many people go watch it, what kind of word is the internet giving out at all? Because they're yeah, like, like, oh, th- this company just spent extra money to uh, honor the word for the internet, and they didn't even care anymore. So every next time we try to do this again, it's not going to be like anything at all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, honestly, this needs to be a huge success so companies can be like, hey, you know what? We should probably actually start listening to the customers. Mm -hmm. Right? It's not like they're right or anything. Yeah, exactly. Fuck customers. You know, (laughs) the funny thing is that when this surfaced a lot and a lot of people were just like, this was their plan from the start. (laughs) I mean, if it is, that's the best marketing strategy I've ever seen. Well, here's the thing, though. They put tons of money into actual merchandise that they posted up. It's like a a company that did this intentionally to, like, just publicity would would not have gone through the effort to actually market and produce products for the original design. I don't know, man. Best marketing strategy still. Because that's a bunch of money. like. Like, companies would not put that much money into the merchandise for the original design if they knew we're going to go for another design. Mm. I hate the picture that you posted. It's a cursed image. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like, I've seen so many memes on on it. Like, like uh, there was a one post where it's like, I can't believe you guys uh, uh, cyber bullied a company into changing their design. Look, all I say about that is, Sonic came out a lot better because Mm -hmm. of it. I will watch the movie because of it. So it's a positive. In the new trailer, they definitely, uh, they showed off more comedical or comedy scenes. Comedic. Comedic scenes. Yeah. Which I appreciate it because it like, it gives me, gives people more taste. Well, it it shows the attitude uh, Sonic will have. You know, like, that's what you'd expect 
from Sonic if you played the games. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's always been that like, I'm not really gonna take this serious, but uh, if I need to, I guess. Mm-hmm. Like he, he kind of just time, doesn't care. I kind of just want to go like down. Yeah, like mm-hmm. Sonic was never really that serious. Maybe in it, uh, Sonic Adventures One, he was a little bit more serious. Maybe. Mm-hmm. But then yeah. again, in the trailer, uh, I found it funny that uh, when he was doing the whole nunchucks, he was wearing a headband with like the original Sonic logo on it. Yeah, I like that too. I like the little nods. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm gonna talk about uh how the movie's gonna end. So but, uh, spoiler warning: when they introduce uh Knuckles, Amy, Mister Tails. They're gonna definitely introduce Tails at the end. Okay. That's and fair. possibly Knuckles. Oh, and then I'm at the end of that. the second movie, they're gonna introduce Shadow. Guaranteed. What the oh, hell are you talking welcome. about? <laughs> This is just your Man, crazy I, theory. I want, I want and this silver? is what's going to happen. I've seen the future. I've seen the future. And this movie isn't going to get a sequel. <laughs> 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 it's a sad truth. Um, uh, it's. I mean, like it'll probably be well received in box office, but it's I mean, not going to. It's no parasite. Jumanji got a sequel. Juman, but it's Jumanji, and it has The Rock. Does this have The Rock? No. The second and one has Kevin Danny Hart. DeVito. Does this have Danny DeVito? Also, no. <laughs> exactly. The sequel should have been Dr. Eggman. The sequel will have Danny DeVito. As Eggman. <laughs> oh my god, he would have been the perfect Eggman. Is Jim Carrey after he became obese and balded? I actually don't mind Jim Carrey's acting from what I saw in the trailer. He's funny. You know, it's just, it's just Jim Carrey being Jim Carrey. Yeah, I mean, he's quirky, so it matches Sonic's quirkiness. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Again, this is uh, th- I guess someone put it best from a Reddit comment. This is like this is the best two thousands movie I've seen because <laughs> yeah. it has a very two thousands esque plot. Yes, you know? it does. Yeah. Um, one thing can I just point out? I still don't um uh, still don't like is uh the powers that uh, Sonic has with the rings. Oh, oh the, yeah, the whole teleportation thing? Yeah, I don't like that. I don't know. Sonic and Smash, that was canon. give me teleporting yeah, rings. Canon? D- didn't we, yeah, we, we brought it up in the, the, the previous podcast when we uh, Did talked we? about, yeah, when we talked about the original Sonic trailer, we actually looked up the whole, like, teleporting ring thing to check if it was canon. Yeah, but yeah. they don't send you to Middletown, USA. There is a game where the ring comes into play, and I forget which game it is. Sonic and the Secret Rings? Maybe. <laughs> does, does this why you explain that some Sonic 06, like a giant where he's ring? basically an anime character and he falls in love with an anime whammon? <laughs> can he... Can they introduce my boy Knight? Knight? Yeah. From Sonic and the Seven Rings? Or the Secret Rings? Let me see. Is that where he's from? Can we please he's introduce not gonna Sonic be into it until, like, the fifth movie. Yeah. What's up, Lewis? Can we please introduce Sonic Riders? I want him to be oh, on a floating. Oh, hell yes. <laughs> on a flying skateboard. I would love that. I would love to see Jet and Sonic race. Oh, <sighs> man. What? Yeah. Make it like what a I Fast know? and the Furious, but instead of cars, Did it's I just Sonic witness? and them. In, uh, <laughs> what, Ivan? I yeah. didn't even know this was a thing. What? I, I was looking Sonic... For the the night character, apparently there's a Sonic a Sonic game called Sonic and the Black Knight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What is this gold ass Knight Sonic here? <laughs> Look at her. Look at stupid. <laughs> oh, can we get Golden? I mean, Super Saiyan Sonic in this movie? You hmm. mean Shadow? You looked at Shadow? No, there's Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. His, his animated Wait, form say? looks pretty cool though. Are we are we gonna get Super Saiyan? Sonic in this movie? I honestly don't I hope. think that they're gonna sh- Oh no, yeah, the Chaos, Chaos Emeralds aren't introduced yet, so no. Okay. I doubt mm. it. Exactly. If at the end they might, like, tease Chaos Emeralds of sorts. Which means they're gonna tease Knuckles. But that's if they plan on having a uh, sequel to it. Yeah. We'll see how uh, the internet reacts and watches this movie. Hmm. Has there been any movie where it's like they had the post credits and it's like they, it never came into fruition? Probably. I will have to look up to uh, look up uh, some movies, but probably. True. Very true. 
Maybe a couple X Men movies. Maybe. I can see that. Because when didn't they like tease uh like Gambit uh for like a Gambit movie or, like the end of uh the X Men Origins Wolverine. Um. Yes, I think so. I I can't remember. It's been a while since I've seen those movies. Mm-hmm. But anyways, you guys uh ready to move on to the hold next up. trailer? No, hold I've up. Been for reference, this uh-huh. is Knight. That is a terrible rendition. That no, that's the character Knight. I know who you're talking about. It's so it's actually not from a Sonic game. It's from his own kind of spinoff. Mm. He, he, well, his world collided with Sonic. Oh yeah, then I'm like... not even sure. I don't know what it is. <laughs> you just hey, want... Jim Carrey, a clown. All right, but anyways, I'm ready. So awesome. Move on to the next one. Yeah, right, I'm cool. ready. Oh, Knight's genderless, by the way. Perfect. Good. good perfect. Oh. Just what I needed to know. But, I just thought you were interested. Anyways, but, there's gonna be I'm a ready. new SpongeBob movie. I'm ready to cry. You ready I'm to cry? I'm ready again? to uh, only yeah. watch the one scene that Keanu Reeves is in, and then walk out the theater. <laughs> I'm gonna tie you down uh, to the to the seat so that way you stay there. It's okay. I'll close my eyes and listen to music. I've nope. seen so many like memes of it because of it, and like. I'm saying like, oh, when when you see God, and then it's like him in the tumbleweed. Yeah, when you see God I mean, in hay or some shit. Yeah, I mean I've that's my God right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But close to a God as I I can imagine. Mm-hmm. But um, overall, I mean, the movie's gonna be about Gary missing again, and I'm not prepared for this moment again. Yeah, Last time I mean, this, happened, this was my a heart broke episode. Yeah, early on in SpongeBob career. Good episode. Great episode, so why are we revisiting it? We already know he, he, he was there. Mm-hmm. He, d- he didn't get lost, really. Well, he got somewhat kidnapped by the old lady, remember? Yeah, but it wasn't like lost, lost, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But anyway, in the trailer itself, uh, it, intro- it shows off uh, how Spongebob met Gary, which is, was him at like the, his old camp. And mm-hmm. that just gave me like, okay, they're teasing the whole like the upcoming uh prequel series that they're they have planned in the making. Which, SpongeBob which is, Baby. Yeah, well, it's not SpongeBob Baby, but it's more like young SpongeBob when he was at the uh the the camp that he is going to be in the movie. Mm-hmm. So yeah, they're be they're nice. gonna be be teasing the, the series with this. In my they're not opinion. gonna let SpongeBob die. Is, anytime is that soon. anime style or animation style? How the new SpongeBob looks? No, uh, the the upcoming uh prequel series is gonna be a uh, the two D style that they normally do. I mean, what I'm saying is though, like recently I watched a couple of new episodes of the new SpongeBob, and they looked very weird. They're like, not 2D anymore. Really? Yeah. Because I That's know I've, I I've seen a, a couple, but I thought they were just like specials or something. I thought they were specials too. Because what's it called? I was told they were just regular episodes. Because what's it called? A long time ago, I remember they did the whole 3D thing with the, the Christmas special. Yes. Mm-hmm. Guys, I think you guys are just watching the SpongeBob anime openings. I just want to point that out. Those I anime hate you. openings not are so canon, cool. Okay, guys. I hate you so much. They're so good though. <laughs> the, they are. The original, uh, the original opening created for the third opening, so good. Hmm. Jason, it's okay. Don't worry about it. It's that. That's not canon, Jason. It's fan-made. I would rather have this as canon over what I saw on TV. I feel sorry for whatever you saw. I'm sorry. It, it, <laughs> it like it, Well, it has a similar animation style to what the movie is. Really? But I don't like that style for the TV show. Because I'm uh-huh. so used to old Spongebob, you know? Yeah. Now, which old Spongebob are we talking about? Are we talking about that, uh, that, uh... Doodoo yellow Spongebob? Because that's my Spongebob that I like. And that is the Spongebob I grew up with, yes. Yeah. The no one, one uh... who uh, rode the queen jellyfish for Kevin. Mm-hmm. King jellyfish, Loser. sorry. Loser. Exactly. 
Yes. Uh, okay, I think I found the the animation style of what you're talking about. I'm not sure if this is a movie or if this was an actual episode. Uh, that's a movie. Movie. That's okay. the movie. I haven't seen the 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 newest movie. Here, I'll uh, I'll see if I can find it. All right, but uh, I mean, depending on that, I mean, um, I mean, we've seen a lot of the evolution from SpongeBob and everything like that. Um, when it comes to the newer episodes, I really don't really like that much, just because it's uh, I see it as the plot was putting Squidward involved into it. And just annoy him, and that's it. Mm-hmm. Cause like literally, it could be Patrick and SpongeBob doing random things, and then I don't know why Squidward just gets involved, and it's just being annoyed by that. And it's like that's not really how SpongeBob used to be. It used to be just him, just being random and uh, and adventurous with everybody around him. Mm-hmm. There used to be actual story. Like mm-hmm. I remember the episode where he was scared. Of okay. hitting his butt. Uh, yeah, it was a special. Never mind. It was. Oh, okay. I, I found but it. But this is what I saw. Yeah. I was like, dear God, what the have they done to my square boy? <laughs> I mean, we can also just, uh, hope for, uh, a, uh, a series on YouTube where they just redub it with a lot of anime lines. That would be amazing. So basically, that would also be amazing. Yes, because I seen the one where it's like Naruto. Yes, it's like a, I know. It's, it's, it. it's like so amazing. It's like, why didn't you break our bond that time, Sasuke? And just Sa- Sasuke's freaking SpongeBob. It's yeah. quite simple, <laughs> and it's like, God damn it! Why does this fit so well? <laughs> uh, but yeah, this than, should be more of a thing. Other than that, it's like most of the trailer is. It's just gonna be Gary missing. Gary come home. And it's probably gonna be good, because wasn't the, the first movie good? Which one? Oh, uh, the the previous one? Yeah, the previous one was pretty good. It had some weird things going on, man. Like, it made you feel like you were high. Honestly. I, that's, I think that's the only scene I've seen, and I think it's because Jason's sister showed me it. One one day, uh-huh. for what? The, oh, the uh, previous SpongeBob movie? Yeah, the uh, Out of Water. Yeah, yeah. I, I want to say a a dolphin that was technically the god, right? The fuck? I have no yeah, idea. It was the god, and they blew up. They blew up either Uranus or Saturn. I forgot which one they blew up, or Jupiter. I think they blew up Jupiter. Yeah, like that's canon. They blew up Jupiter. <laughs> Jesus Christ! There's uh, like, there's a literally there's like a whole scene that literally it it like makes you seem like they're high as shit because I don't know what the fuck they did. In, oh, in the, in the scene. sorry, uh-huh. didn't mean to cut you off. No, it reminded me when you said they were high as shit. They also in- introduced uh, Suicide Squidward as canon. Wait, what? Yeah, Suicide Squidward is uh, canon for one of the multiverses in SpongeBob. That's a joke. Yeah, I know it was a joke, but uh, they put it in. One? It was one of the multiverse TVs. It's canon. Really? <laughs> yeah. Huh. That's nice. pretty hilarious. Oh wait, I I heard about that. Yeah. Nice. Suicide Squidward. Which I'm like, dude. I know it's a kid show, so why would you make something like that canon? But whatever. <laughs> it makes sense though. Uh, I yeah. mean, it has the uh. The adult humor for the adults. I mean, at this point, it should be just for the adults. Not gonna lie. It really should. Like, <laughs> if there's, I don't think that many kids watch SpongeBob anymore. Mm-hmm. I was gonna like say a- you'd be surprised, but no, you're right. I think my uncle watches SpongeBob <laughs> more than his children. <laughs> he does. He, exactly. he loves SpongeBob. Yeah, he does. Like, we got him the SpongeBob like pop figure, pop, pop figure set, like the complete set for his birthday. And he absolutely loved it. Patrick's Same. his favorite. Patrick can relate to all of us. Yeah. Well, we <laughs> can relate all... to Patrick. Yeah, we're all pretty fucking retarded. I only have $3. Yeah. <laughs> I got two. <laughs> Take it or leave it. Okay, I'll give you five. Crap, I can only do seven. Four. Three. Take it or leave it. Uh, Who's that? Huh? Huh? 
Who is it supposed to be? Patrick. It's Patrick versus uh, the Flying Dutchman. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We also yeah. have technology. I thought it was like, I'm sorry, SpongeBob kind of Patrick. No. <laughs> I appreciate that you the only one that knows what that is. <laughs> I hate everything. But yeah. Now, yeah. on to our last trailer, which is the upcoming Scoob movie. I already have problems with this. You already... I have so many problems. Okay. With this. His name isn't Scoobert. <laughs> it's Scooby. This upsets me greatly. This upsets okay. you. Besides Ivan's retarded uh, issues. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's uh, not like that, but his name well, is... Where Where did you even get Scoobert from? His name is Scoobert! <laughs> where? <laughs> I was typing it out, like his name. Uh, Scoobert. <laughs> where is it that his name is Scoobert? I, I thought uh, when Shaggy was giving his name, he was like, what's his name? Scooby? And then like he just kept on going like the whole Scooby Dooby Doo. Well, my issue with it is, one, Scooby Doo... Talks in sentences first. Yeah. Uh, two Much clearer sentences. Yeah. Two. Um, I don't like the fact that they're not showing Shaggy as a high mofo like they used to. Really upsetting. Mm-hmm. Uh, especially with all the legalization <laughs> that has been going on recently, I thought they would have moved past it and actually embraced that culture. But no. But it's or still kept it the same. It's still supposed to be a kids movie. Well, we can. Sh- they can show, show him as a kid, and that part can be for kids. But when he gets to adulthood, you can put you know? some adult humor in here. Yeah, they could have made. Velma they could just say, "Hey, like I'm smoking grass," okay, so and wait, nobody what? would know. What? Velma's voice. What? Huh? Wait, what? Velma's voice it? sounds so like like how she talks and stuff. It sounds so seductive. Like it doesn't sound like the Velma Velma I'm used to. Uh, where is the timestamp for when she fucking talked? Uh, it's close to the very end. Uh, Again, give me a time. Uh, I I think I got it. Like two ten. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it's like I I'm I'm not like it, I don't know like her voice kind of like just it doesn't match up with me. Like I'm used to the other the the like other Velma voice, which. Which sounds more like a little it bit more. It doesn't sound seductive. It just sounds curious. Like it's she's trying to figure out something. So something's not yeah. registering. But anyway, yeah, uh, that's seductive. Yeah, I, I didn't find it seductive. I just thought of it as just thinking. Um, I'm used to. Her, get... I'm used to her yeah. like nasally, like nerdy voice. Sort. They're saying a nerd can't sound like a normal person. Wow. You no, nerd? I'm just. I'm just saying. That I'm used to the voice. Uh huh. But also Fred's design. I don't, I'm not, I don't. Uh, I see someone can accept change here. Yeah. All of us. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. Uh, what do you not like about Fred's design? I have my own gripes, but I want to hear yours first. He doesn't have Nascot. I, I don't know does, what does to say to you right now. No, he doesn't. It's more of a, a modern. Uh, Fred. Oh, you're right. He doesn't have the ascot. Mm-hmm. Wait a minute. They have like an oh. orange like okay. bit, but so, it's not like the the full on ascot that he usually wears. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, uh, if my from what I'm looking at right here, it looks like they're not older. Older, like if they were to be like uh, um, what's new Scooby Doo? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're not adult. They're not adults. They're like teens. Mm-hmm. Like 16, 17. Yeah, around that age. So I think that's why he doesn't have that. Which, yeah. that, makes, that, that makes sense. Um, I'm, 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 The design, I really don't like the fact that he is uh, like super chinny. Like the crimson yeah, chin. Yeah, his square has, jaw. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe in 2D it looked better, but in 3D it looks eh. very weird. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a change. That's just giving me off. Uh, I will say, even though we said they're like 16, 17, your boy Shaggy's got that uh, goatee going. He's still yeah, got the goatee. Yeah, he does. Yeah. That's it's perfect. wispy, but it's there. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, I mean, uh, yeah, so they're in like, like 16, 17, so. Makes sense. Yeah. 
I I I also am not a big fan of the premise with it being aliens and stuff. Mm-hmm. Usually they do supernatural like ghosts I mean, or monsters. I mean they had the alien one like the uh the one where de- they went to the desert and then Shaggy fell in love with the alien chick. But that's only the chick. The, the... But not only that, that was actual aliens. Yeah. Like that wasn't the mystery. The mystery were what ghosts? No, there yeah. was also aliens. No. no, the aliens were just like, oh, we're actually aliens, by the way. No, the, what's it called? The uh, satellite guys were dressed up as aliens. No, 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 but the, they weren't, like, the main thing about it was uh, uh, theoretically ghosts because of the whole virus thing inside the computer, whatever, I'm not, remember if I remember correctly. Something like that. I don't remember. I, don't I think know we're what... also mixing up our movies. I think you're thinking of uh, the the uh, the yeah, cyberspace the one where they're yep, stuck I'm, in the game. Yep. yep, I just mixed up my movies. Yeah, I was like, I'm pretty sure you're mixing up your movies. Yeah, because I'm talking about the alien one where like Shaggy and Scooby both fall in love with the alien. I remember group. this. The alien chicks, yeah. Yeah, and the the people there, it was also aliens. Like the yeah. the main villain. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, this one, yeah. I mm-hmm. remember now. Okay. But I mean, in the end, there was real aliens. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm it's like, just saying. A, they have it's purely they've, aliens. They've messed with the, the alien premise. That's what I was trying to get at. Yeah. I just don't like it, considering most of their stuff is paranormal, not sci-fi. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. I guess um, it's still in the realm of paranormal, because it's... You know. What would you guys' uh, favorite series in terms of Scooby-Doo about B, though? Zombie like Island. Person? Series? It's a movie. That's oh. a movie. Oh, That's series. Movie. Okay, my bad. Series. I thought we were talking about just all in general. No, no, no. Series. Series? Series and movies. A pup named Scooby-Doo. Okay. A pup name? <laughs> a, a, mm-hmm. a pup name? That, that one was good. That's where uh, you got Scoobert from, my guy. <laughs> Funny uh, enough, anyways. people thought his name was Scoobert Dubert, which is wrong. It's just Scoobert Doo. Oh, okay. Yes. I like what's new Scooby Doo. I think my my favorite one was a uh, Mystery Incorporated. The new one, or the newish one? The newish it's not one. Not that new anymore, is it? Yeah, it's <laughs> not that new. But that one actually had like it, the story was it was so good. Like the whole series involved like this whole like big story that involved each episode had its like little like like oh monsters and stuff like that. But in all in all, there was a huge story in the making. And it mine was, really was uh mine was the little spin off series that they have for Ghoul School. Oh Ghoul School was cool. Yeah. I remember that's that. what I like. That one was my favorite. That's interesting. We all had different ones. Mm-hmm. Well, right, but there was also that that spin off series where it was just uh uh which involved uh Ghoul School, but it was a uh, Shaggy, Scooby and Scrappy. I'm pretty sure there was even more other than Ghoul School that it was just them three. Yeah. Pretty sure there was. Um, what about movies? Like, uh, in terms of, like, horror-wise? In terms of... Uh, uh, Zombie Island. Yeah. yeah Zombie it's Island probably the consensus good one. Mm-hmm. Unless Ivan throws us a curveball. <laughs> Do you want me to throw you, like, a meme curveball? Or, like... No, I, I was wondering if you actually had a different opinion. Nah. No, Zombie Island's probably the best one. If you want a meme one, it's like, there's the WrestleMania one. <laughs> no, we don't talk about that. <laughs> With John <Not> <laughs> no. I mean, and then there's all the, the live action ones that they had. Like Scoob. I hate it when they made Scrappy do the villain. Like Scooby-Doo yeah. 1. So, and Scooby-Doo 2. Yeah, there's Scooby-Doo 1, Scooby-Doo 2. Then Cartoon Network had their own live action spinoffs. Sc- Scooby-Doo The Mystery Begins. Which is their origin story in, at their high school. Then they had Scooby Doo, Curse of the Lake Monster, which is also live action. And then I didn't know this, but I'm looking at it right now. Supposedly they had a, a Daphne and Velma original movie, like just them two. Mm-hmm. But I didn't know about that one. Um, did you guys ever hear about like the weird uh spin-off thing that they did for uh scooby-doo and it's like the blair witch project thing 
No. 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 Like it was stupid. It was. I'd never heard of it at all till I actually watched it, and it's like, wait, I kind of remember this. Yes. Remember yeah, this. I know what you're, exactly what you're talking about. By the way. Yeah. It's like uh, it's like something that like it was it was it, shorts it was like little shorts between like commercials yeah and they would showcase like the the mystery gang going into the Blair Witch trying to figure out things but it actually had like a much darker tone where they ended up being missing <laughs> really at the, end. the same yeah yeah that's interesting wait what can oh, you yeah. find all these shorts yeah you could probably look them up on YouTube yeah. shout out to Scooby Doo and the Witch's Ghost. The one where they introduce the Hex Girls. I gotta look this up you. now. I got it for you. What? Well, not did, that. Did you not like the Hex Girls? The hell are... Uh, I literally just typed an H and that's what that is. <laughs> like like, good. like the, the vampire like uh, themed uh, rock band? Yeah. It was never big on them, but yeah. I give props. That was pretty good too. Yeah, that, that one was also a, a good movie. But yeah. I think that I that wraps around movie. things. Do you guys have anything else to say? No, no, not really. My car's still destroyed. <laughs> Poor Lewis. Hopefully, we could buy you a company car soon. But the contract says I'm going to get one within the year, so that's fine. With the budget <laughs> that we have, it's going to be like a broken down Ford Fiesta. <laughs> I mean, it says a car. It doesn't say anything specifically, so I'm not high, having high hopes right now. It's a Hot Wheel car. Shit, I mean, this is a car. Uh, <laughs> a car is a car. Uh, but anyways, Ivan, may you uh, take us out? No, I'm still doing that? Yeah. <clears throat> well, it's been so long. I've just completely forgotten how to do it. Need some jogging. Let's see. <clears throat> Thank you guys for listening to the Burning Ship Podcast. If you like what you heard, or if you didn't, feel free to give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down <laughs> on the video. If you guys want to hear more of us and know when we post videos, consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that notification bell so you know when we are posting videos. Hopefully it's weekly now, uh, now that our little vacation thing has gone through and we could post more consistently. Um, and like Frankie mentioned early on in the show that uh, we do have um, podcasts over in Spotify, iTunes, Google Podcast, and Podbean. So if you don't have time to watch the YouTube video, feel free to just listen to us there whenever you like. And that about covers it. Hope to see you in the next episode. Bye. Later. Goodbye.